Our other problem for chapter 7 is number 52. And this one's involving the de Broglie wavelength. So remember we have a formula for de Broglie wavelength and this problem is asking us to calculate the de Broglie wavelength if an electron is traveling at the following velocity, 1.35 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. Now it's important to remember our formula for de Broglie wavelength and that is de Broglie wavelength will equal H, Planck's constant, over momentum, which is also h over mass times velocity. So remember this p, the rho is momentum, and mass times velocity is how you get p. So make sure you can interconvert between those two denominator values. So we can use either or, and so we're going to have to use mass times velocity because we were not given the momentum. Now remember, we have an electron, so the mass we know is a constant, and the mass of an electron is 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilo kilograms, sorry, not kilometers. Um, this will be on your formula sheet or it's in the book or you look it up, so make sure you realize that you always have the mass of an electron. And so we have the mass, we have the velocity, we also always have Planck's constant. So we can just plug and chug. So our wavelength is going to be Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds over mass times velocity. Our mass is, remember our constant for an electron. And remember you can look up masses for protons as well and neutrons if you need to. Um, kilograms over our velocity of 1.35 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. Oh, sorry. And remember we are using joules which is an SI unit and if you are using joules we have to use kilograms, we have to use meters, and we have to use seconds. So make sure you double check all units. So we calculate all this out and we cancel some units and we find that our wavelength is 8.337 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. Now I think the book actually asks for picometers, you could be asked for nanometers, it just depends. I think it's easier to solve to meters and convert what you need to convert to because you have to use joules and you have to use kilograms and meters per second for the formula to work with Planck's constant. So whatever I would fall for meters and then multiply out whatever you need for which units the question is asking for.